Let's go on top the um <clears throat> the zip line. We'll kill this guy if we see him. Or if he kills us, then we'll just spectate him. Oh my god, he's up there. <laughs> hey, the hell? Is that a bot? Bro, what? I heard thump thump. We're gonna do our best to get some kills on this hot drop and then spectate out whoever kills us and to give you guys some commentary and hopefully some tips and tricks on how to uh, perform better the next time you're in a Destin game. Uh, Mini 14, it's all I got. It's all the only thing I have here. No guns here. Boom, 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 boom. Go, go, go. It's the guy. Go, ready, go, ready, go. He landed here. He's in that shack. Quick nade. Three, two. Kobe. <laughs> that was a money shot right there, baby. That was a money shot right there, baby. This gun takes eight seconds to reload. Fun fact. Eight seconds to reload with that gun. It's the worst gun to get on a hot drop. Get up! He's right here. I'm dead. He's dead. Okay, there are bots in this lobby. So much to really patch that roof. Oh, come on. Oh, let me try again. So much to really patch that roof up. <clears throat> no, it bounced out. Oh. Someone is usually in that building. Blast. I let that guy run over for free. I should have held him out. After I threw that grenade, I should have just held his angle. So I let him cross that wide open field for free. Under me. Your sand. Silly goose? You knew I was up here. I mean, maybe he didn't, but I know he heard, like, he shot me up here, so he knew I was up here. So there's still a person or a bot over there somewhere, right? And then I heard some shots out here in the field. So if you're going to drop arena, this is usually where I like to go. This roof or, or over here. And fun fact, if you actually land on that roof, there's actually guns that spawn right there. It's not always, you know, the best of luck. You could get shit luck with what spawns up there. But it is possible. Yay! To land there and get loot. <clears throat> and, you know, fight for the rooftop early access. Let's go on top the, um, <clears throat> the zip line. We'll kill this guy if we see him. Or if he kills us, then we'll just spectate him. Yeah, so bolts. Zero. Benefit of a comp. You always want a flash hider? Oh my god, he's up there. <laughs> the hell? Is that a bot? Bro, what? I heard thump thump. I think that was a bot. But do bots go up there? I've never seen a bot do a parachute redeploy. Was that a bot? Let's loot him. See what he had, I guess, you know? It looks like a bot loot. Level 1 gear, M16. Yeah, that, that had to be a bot, dude. Maybe this is the guy that pulled him in the car. This guy just got the headshot or old shot. So now this guy knows I'm here and I know he's here, right? So knowing that, how am I going to play it? I'd like to get the element of surprise, get a headshot on him with his dragon off. He just got a kill though. So is he going to move on that? Is he pushing a compound or something? I don't know. No tactical gear, no drone. So really got to play. Audio. We gotta move to this building, assuming that's what he would do. See if he's in here. So I'm gonna anticipate him. Maybe peeking me. He hears me coming. No? I don't hear anyone. Oh, I heard him. 
I don't need flashbangs. It sucks. The flashbang the shit out of him right there. Ooh, that was him. I heard him. I heard him on the grass. GG, buddy. He came out and pushed me. See, the thing is, he actually didn't know if I was a bot or not, right? He might have come out there thinking it's a bot. And then found out real quick. It ain't. All right, let's start heading in. Get some of these bots out the game. Yay! Yay! Okay, well, maybe get some bots out of the game if I get a shot. Uh, what the? Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Got him. Why sell conspiracy theory that the leagues as a business favor the NA and West Coast? Well, look, I again, I don't think it's a conspiracy theory about like the league not liking the Saints. I think it's very obvious that after the whole Bounty Gate thing, which obviously was it was a screwed up thing. Um, that every team does. Every team did it. Maybe they don't do it m anymore. Oh my Jesus. Um, but every team did it. Other teams are just smart enough to not write it down. They would just verbally tell you, here's your bonus. Go do this. But after that, there was a noticeable, a noticeable difference in the way that referees and the league treated the saints throughout numerous occasions, not just games, even out of game things like way they handled team, um, team member suspensions and like all that kind of stuff. Like there was an entire season where they didn't allow coach Sean Payton to coach for our team an entire season, like never been heard of before. Like just, they've always treated the saints like crap, especially after bounty gate. And there've been so many crazy plays career or season changing plays on season on season games that obviously were not in the saints favor so i don't think there's any conspiracy with that i think if you look at the evidence it's very obvious having said that i don't know if there's evidence that says they favor one one particular team over the rest or one one franchise over the rest but you got to remember it's a business too you know they want to make money there's a reason why the opening game was um detroit and freaking um the chiefs right there's there's a reason why there's certain teams that get matched up the saints and the falcons on like the you know the thanksgiving week and that kind of stuff like you know it's a business now, whether they influence the way those games, you know, play with the way they ref, I don't know. I think sometimes they can, mainly because. And because at the end of the day, you're talking about a bunch of humans. You know, it's just people. It's just people. Yeah, do I have that many bots right now in this, in this lobby? It's a little silly. Kind of wish I would just died in the beginning. Then. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. All right. So uh, ten or fifty people alive. It's phase two. So there are some real people still. So if I'm gonna play this smart, if I'm gonna play this tactically, here's what I, I like to do: get center zone as quickly as possible. This building is a great building to be at this and there's multiple versions of these of these buildings um in this map not just this one so the, the this particular building is like uh, over over here too so it's, it's a couple areas this is the big barn building that has zip line rooftop access it's a great building to hold usually means someone's already going to be there if you're late though so you got to be prepared for that So we'll go up and assume somebody's already up here. See if we hear any movement. 
Oh my god. That grenade went out the door. That grenade went through? It went through the window. I got shot from this guy, I'm assuming. I didn't hear him. Oh. Okay, I'm out of nades. He can go out the back door and peek one of the angles. He's not going to. Oh, that was almost a heady. That would have kind of connected. He would have been dead. All right, so he's going to chill and heal up. Let's see if we can get some grenades to flush him out with. He doesn't know we move move windows. Okay, now he does. <laughs> Three, two, one, peek. Three, two, one, peek. Three, two, one, peek. And peek. Let's see if there's any frags or blue zone grenades. Perfect. All right. Now, is he silly enough to still be there? Or is he smart enough to have moved? Let's see. He's still there. He's still there. Okay. So this isn't an insta kill for us. Obviously anything can happen, but he's given us everything we need to be successful right now. I heard a car. Oh, okay. Car just pulled up there. So someone's in that compound. Oh, that guy just killed him with a Winchester. So I got a real person over here with a Winchester. There he is. Love to connect this headshot. That was the next shot. That was... Oh, nice trade, buddy. Hey, nice trade, dude. Was, I wasn't full health, huh? Oh, dude, that second shot would have killed him, but he, he killed me first. Damn. Uh, so I wasn't full health, which is why I got one shot with a Winchester. I didn't realize I wasn't full health. Stupid play by me. All right, so we got killed by E loot. E loot. Uh, this guy, oh, it's kind of like a newish player. He only has 557 matches played, eight wins, um, a 1.5 KD, 32% headshot ratio. Damn, that's a, it's really high for his other stats. Okay, let's take a look. This guy might get his ninth win right here. He has eight total wins in that ninth win. So <clears throat> just a reminder is what just happened. I could have one shot him with the dragon off. He one shot me with the Winchester because I wasn't full health like an idiot. Had I been boosted up and let my health get back to full before ego peeking him, there's no chance that he one shots me so I could ego peek that. But because obviously what you just saw, that's why you don't want to ego peek a bolt action sniper rifle. That's why you don't want to peek a bolt action sniper rifle because uh, they could very well one shot you. So you never want to just hold an angle like that on a gun that can one shot you like a dragon off or a bolt. Now, does he know about, he probably doesn't know about the guy that was here. I wonder where that guy is. I wonder where that guy is. The guy that was in that uh, shack that we were fighting. I never did get to grenade him. So a lot of shots going on. There are a good bit of bots in this lobby, so it's hard to know ooh, who's a real player, who's not a real player when you just hear gunshots. So he has to kind of play a little cautiously. You can't just assume, oh, so it's a bot because it... Oh, oh, oh! I bet that's the guy from the shack. Why is that guy not pushing him? Yes, push. Push! Oh, wow, this guy's silly. Oh, he's a gamer though. He's a silly gamer. Holy cow. Epic of chaos. Okay. So Epic of Chaos almost threw that. Because he had the he had the surprise attack. And then he had him down to one shot and let him heal. He gave him six seconds to get a first aid off. Never let that happen. You always want to take that that push aggressive element when you have someone low like that. You never want to give them six seconds of free time. Because then he came and jump, jump sprayed like, bro, he could have got deleted had the other guy been really paying attention. Because jump shooting in PUBG is terrible. You never want to do it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, he's patient. This guy's patient. Oh, he tried to lead it. Okay, now he's got him held out, though. Now, keep in mind, he's held out, too. So, he's not in the zone yet, too. He needs to make sure he's... Okay, I think that guy killed him. Yeah, I think the other bolt killed that guy. Yeah, I would just go. I would assume that guy's dead and go. Oh, he's not. Okay, nice. He has a jammer backpack. You're gonna hit the... Yeah, careful. Now, okay, now you're fighting with fire here. Your jammer's running out fast. It's about to be phase five. And you're taking way... There you go. Now go. I was gonna say, he's taking way too long to get that kill. The longer your fight carries on, the more opportunity for you to get third partied by someone else here in these gunshots. Oh, and there it is. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Shoot right there. I think he saw, I think he saw him. He saw him. Okay, go, get aggressive, get aggressive. Go, 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 go. Before your jammer runs out. Nice, go, get in there, get in there. Okay, seven people left. Oh my, double loot drop Batman. He just got gifted level three gear, two of them. Oh yeah, you got to go. You got to go for that, bro. You got to go for that. So Epic of Chaos is on his way to his 393rd win. He has 8,300 matches. 2.0 KD, 27% headshot ratio. This guy's good. This guy's good. Let's go. He was playing a little uh by the seat of his pants earlier. Did a little jump shot, but this guy's good. Oh, he's got an AWM. Interesting. So full level three gear, AWM. Now remember on Destin, for whatever reason, in PUBG's wisdom, AWM only comes with 10 bullets, but he actually found 20. So lucky him. He must have had some extra ammo from that crate or something. I don't know. But on Destin, it only has 10 shots. So lucky him. He got, he got the normal amount, 20, 21. Good, good call taking the vehicle here. Look at the rotation. He's got to get across the, the beach. Now, you could full send it. There's someone right there. Oh, my. I wouldn't advise this. Okay, 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 okay. No. You're going to get shot in the side. You're going to get shot in the side. Get back in the car. Oh, no. He had plenty of time, chat, to stay on the other side of the beach and scope it out first. He just full ball send it without seeing where somebody was. Okay, there's a bolt. He just heard a bolt out here to his left. That bolt killed somebody over here. So now he's got this guy to his right, the bolt to his left, and one other person unaccounted for. Good, good, good call. Get the vehicle. The vehicle's the safest thing you can do in PUBG. Oh, he's a drive buyer. Okay, here we go. That guy probably went to that shack, right? That shack's in. There's probably someone in that shack. He's driving aggressively towards the bolt. He's trying to get the bolt guy out of the fight. He just turned around for no reason. He could have held him out. He could have held that bolt out. So always look at the hard cover. Expect people around the hard cover. So expect someone to be here ready for you. All right. When I said vehicles are the safe thing in PUBG, I don't mean just do 360s in the middle of the map in front of everyone. That's silly. You're, ex you're just waiting to get shot right there. Boom. You saw, you saw him. You saw him. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get aggressive. You're going to get shot in the back. Get aggressive. Go. You're going to get shot in the back. You're waiting for it. He's going to get shot in the back like this. He's, he's so exposed. Oh, that guy's getting shot in the back. That's so unfortunate. Bro, that's unfortunate. That guy's getting shot in the back. That sucks. Okay. So he's got the bolt to his left and that guy back there. Now he knows where the last two people are and he has center zone. Neither one of those other two guys has circle. This is GG's. With level three gear, he cannot get one shot unless someone has an AWM. We haven't heard an AWM in the lobby, so safe to assume no AWM in play. What's he doing? The guy's right over there. Like he literally was shooting from the house. He's going to be coming from the house and there's a bolt coming from back here. He should know where the last two guys are, no question. And he's got the perfect bit of cover. He can literally play this side and wait for that guy as soon as he kills that guy, then turn around for that guy who's coming out in the open. The zone's gonna start moving now. So here comes everybody. Now's your now's now's when you have to be ADS and there you go. Yeah, you dude, you you let him get to the sh the level three crate. And there's the third party. Like, hello, McFly. You he let him run out in the open all the way to the crate and then got to cover and got level three gear. And did he have an AWM? The guy looked like he might have picked up an AWM right there. 
he might be able to one shot you now. It looks like an AWM. Okay, lucky for you, he hasn't shot back yet because you should be dead. All right, now the tables have turned, haven't they? Now look, this guy's out of the zone. These two guys are in the zone. My, 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 how the tables have turned. Oh yeah, push. I thought he was going to push out in the open like that. I mean, he's going to have to push, but he can, he can smoke a wall. Like if you're playing for real, you're playing tactically. You try to obviously snipe one of these guys with the AWM, but when you get to about 15 seconds left before the circle starts to close, smoke wall. You want to smoke a line to let you get across. Oh, he saw him. He saw him at the tree over here. A tree over to his left. He's always oh, right there. Oh no, he doesn't see him. Okay. Now he does. Cause the guy ran all the way over there. What a silly play. These guys are playing so silly. The enemies that he's playing against. Oh. What gun did he take? The guy hit the crate. He just, he didn't take a crate gun. All right. Now this Gilly guy, this guy should have the easiest. Okay. This should be game over. Don't let him do this. Oh no. All right. Now you have to just start nading. Why are you decoying? You think he's going to turn around, bro? Yeah. Grenade the tree. Like this is, he turned around. He turned around. <laughs> the decoy. Bro, he turned around for the decoy in a 1v1. No shot. He turned around for the decoy. <laughs> There is no way that he actually turns around for the decoy grenade on a 1v1. I gotta go look at the replay. Dude, I gotta go look at this one. He lets this guy, again, doesn't have LOS to be fair. He doesn't have LOS here. So he doesn't actually see him running. You can't see him running. But he gets all the way across there. It's all the way across. Doesn't see this guy behind the tree. He's actually prone. He could have actually seen him if he just kind of scanned around scoped. He could have seen that guy for sure. Did this guy get snuck up one too? Like, did he not hear him? Because this guy should have totally heard this guy coming behind him. See? I'm spectating him. He hears him. For sure, here's him. It's too late. He's too late. Swap guns. It's too late. Stuck on the tree. Pro oh, wow. Okay. Then the play of plays. So this guy, this guy makes a great rap. Now he's got himself a proper 1v1 and he knows where the last guy is. And he knows the last guy is out of the zone. This is like, this is textbook. What you want to have happen. He has level three gear though. But he knows the other guy has an AWM, so he knows he can get one shot. You have to be thinking of that. I can get one shot. Sees the guy hard peeking. Still ego peeks, which is so ballsy, right? Okay, now this is good. Now look at the map. You're not really in, but you're closer than the enemy, which means the enemy is going to have to move before you do. And even more to that point, this part of the circle here is the slowest moving part of the circle. So he's actually barely, but he is on a closer part of the slow zone. You can use that to your advantage when you're at a, a disadvantage in terms of the weaponry. You can just sit there and hold him out. You can smoke him off. You can grenade him. He ate a neck shot. Otherwise he dies here. Look at this. He got shot in the neck. Otherwise he dies there. So thankfully, but this is a pretty critical, crucial moment right here when this happens. If you're, if you're this guy and you get bolted on a 1v1, you have to assume that this guy is now, he's going to move on that play. And that doesn't mean you have to ego peek him. But if you really want to take this guy by surprise, you ego peek him. You wait like an extra second and a half after he gets the shot on you. Make him think you're healing. And then you peek back out while he's, you know, he's going to be out in the open running and you spray him down. 
that's option one option two you do a first aid hopefully you get the first aid off before he grenades you which is not likely likely grenades are flying your way at this point you're dead so option two pays off he gets the he gets the uh the heal off but now look the grenades are starting to cycle so now you know that he moved from his position you have to know he doesn't but he should assume this guy's at the rock he should be returning grenades and he turns around he turns around at the <laughs> Turned around at the decoy. 